Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Exposure Mod for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you going to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you have to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up ModRinth. Like so. Now just do enter. And once you've done this, you should see a website called modwinf.com. Simply click on modwinf, and now you're on the homepage on modwinf. So, all you need to do here is simply go to the top of the website to discover content, and go down to mods. Now, you want to go on search mods, and type in exposure. Like so. Here we can see we have exposure mod here, so simply click on exposure. And now you're on the home page for Exposure Mod on ModWidth. All you need to do here is simply click on Versions. And now you want to select a game version that you want to play. The thing with Exposure Mod, it is quite of an older mod. Here we can see we have 1.20.1 and 1.19.2, so this is quite of a specific use case. But if you want the latest one in this case, as it's not a lot of them, it is just this one right here. So. We will be using Fabric in this case, so just select the one with Fabric and just click the green download button that shows up. Now we have Exposure Mod in our Downloads folder, but we are not done because we now need to go on the version name here and we have things called Dependencies. And we need to download these, but we only need to download the required ones. These ones are just if something or if your other mods don't work, you might need them. But for most cases, it is just these two here. So, to get Fabric API, first of all, we need to know that what version this is. This is on 1.20.1, keep this in mind. So simply click on Fabric API, then go on versions, then here, go on game versions, and then scroll down until you find 1.20.1, and then download the release, which is green, for 1.20.1. Now, all you want to do is go back, so use the top left arrow here. And now we need to download Forge Config API port, so simply click on this. Just like Fabric API, click on versions. Now, just do your game versions thing again. Scroll down to 1.2.1 and just download the latest one, right here. Now we have all the required mods. All we need to do is simply go to a new tab and go and download Fabric Minecraft. And to get this, you simply type in Fabric Minecraft. There you go. Once you did this, you should see FabricMC.net. Simply click on the name. And now you should see a blue download button. Now click on Download for Windows. And you're done. Here we have Fabric Installer and the three mods we need to get exposure to work fully. So simply close your web browser and now access your downloads folder. You can do this by going to your file explorer and going to your downloads folder. You might have a different directory depending on your defaults for your browser, but for most of you guys, you'll see them right here. So all you have to do here is simply double click the Fabric Installer. Here, we have to select our game version, as this is 1.20.1 in this case. Like so. And just do install. OK. And close. Now what you have to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. And you have to wait a couple seconds. And then we will be able to add these mods to the mods folder. So. Here we have fabric loader here. And simply go to installations and then hover over Fabric Loader, go to the folder icon, and now find the Mods folder, and double click it. Then go to your Downloads folder, select and copy the three mods, go to the top left arrow to go back to Mods, and click Paste. So, now what you should have is a .minecraft folder with mods, and your three mods here. Now all you have to do is simply go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure that fabric loader here is selected, if it is, click play. Here we might have a little warning here, 
Just do understand the risk and click play. And now it's going to download all the required files. So we will just have to wait for that. Okay. So once Minecraft has loaded up, simply go to a single player world. And then you might want to create a new world in this case if you don't have anyone which is available for that version. So we'll just make you know, a quick world real fast. There you go. And then it should just create the world and then we should be able to test out exposure mod. So let's just wait for that one. Okay. So this is like a normal mod, you know, nothing very changing like when it comes to the actual world. It is mainly new cameras that I add and especially film cameras. So to actually see the changes to your game, what you want to do is simply go to your inventory and now we want to go to tools and utilities and you just want to scroll way down and we have everything that we need here. So for example, we have a little camera here and we have black and white film and then it works as expected. So, so yeah, that's how we use this and there is a lot to it as well, a whole entire documentation on how to use this. But this mod here is mainly used in survival mode just to have like a little quality of life add-on basically that adds a bit more realism, a bit like if you bring with you a camera and you were just trying to take pictures of the world that was around you. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to get Exposure Mod working for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!